This is picture of Daenerys Targaryen from popular HBO series Game of Thrones. She's very beautiful and of course has dragons. I used the pencils, some inks, markers, all kind of good things. And remember, if you like it, go follow me. One Piece, Chapter 90, What Can You Do? Well, hello, my brothers and sisters of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim, here to bring you another review, yet another one, yes, uh, the 90th one, on, uh, on the wonderfully written and epically woven together masterpiece that is One Piece. Our last chapter saw um, Luffy finally getting freed and, uh, and him springing up out of the water and in a very cool kind of epic thing grabbing uh, Zoro and sort of flipping him out of there because we know that he was bloodied and beaten and on death's doorstep. And, uh, and switching places with him and then just using several moves on Arlong, uh, to which it didn't really even phase him, but at the end of the chapter, you know, Arlong said, oh, it didn't even hurt me and this and that, you know, is that all you got, you know, and uh, the intimidation thing that he tries to do with that big big head of his, and then Luffy saying, no, I was just getting warmed up. So that's how the chapter ended, that's how this one begins, and it, and it is the end to volume 10, and, uh, and it's certainly a good one, it really is, It's uh, and, and the chapter is titled, What Can You Do?, and the theme of the whole chapter is pretty much Arlong, um, you know, basically trying to put down Luffy for his shortcomings and, uh, and pretty much saying, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, what can you do? So it starts off and Luffy's kind of stretching out and he's getting ready, he's got to get he's getting limber, you know, because <laughs> he had been drowning the last half a dozen chapters, so he's stretching out and getting ready for the fight. And... Uh, <laughs> And, uh, you know, some of the, the villagers and, and, uh, and even Usopp and Nami, you know, they're all looking on and they're like, oh my god, you know, it, it hardly even phased him, you know, with, with Luffy's attacks. On how is he going to beat Lord Arlong, right? So um, Arlong goes and says, do you know what separates us? Like what makes us different or what, what have you, you know? And, uh, and Luffy goes, our noses? <laughs> Real serious, like, you know, and Arlong just kind of gets this, you know, he's not very happy and his look on his face. And he says, uh, our chins? <laughs> and somebody says, I, I think it was, uh, I think it's Yasaku or Johnny. He's just like, is he messing with him? And the other one's like, no, I don't think so. And then Luffy goes, our webbed feet. <laughs> so so whether he is, I, I think it's really just that he's that straightforward about things. You know what I mean? That's just how he is. And it's not so much that he's, he's stupid. It's just that he's um, he's very much has a one-track mind with things. You ask him a, a direct question, you're going to get a direct answer. He's not going to go and philosophically debate what makes us different. You know, you're a fisherman, you can breathe underwater and all this other stuff. He's going to point out the obvious things. Our nose, our chin, our web feet, your web feet, right? So, uh, so Arlong, you know, starts charging him. He says, no, our species, you know. And you know Arlong, he's just real, but he's got a real hard on for, you know, fishmen. Because fishmen are so great and fishmen are so powerful and so superior. And But so he comes charging at Luffy and he's just, you know, charging him. Runs right into him, right through him, kind of grabs him by the throat and he's you know, and Luffy's like, oh, man, and, uh, and, and you know, pins him up against this wall or whatever, and then he goes to come in, and remember, he's like a, a shark-like fisherman, you know, and he just kind of comes in with those teeth and just <gasps> goes to clamp down and nail him. Luffy stretches his head and neck out of the way in a real cool scene just in time, and Arlong chomps down and, and chomps down on, on this pillar of stone, you know, and Usopp's just like, oh, boy, yeah, he, he just he can't chomp into stone. That'll mess up his teeth, right? Then the pillar just, <clears throat> just starts disintegrating and falls, and they're like, oh, shit, okay. His teeth are a little stronger than we thought, and so is this Arlong. Luffy dodges out of the way, you know. And um, and like I said, this is very much just a, um, you know, it's very much a, a what 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 can you do, you know. So Arlong goes, and, and he's, um, you know, he's, of course, you know, just, just berating Luffy. And, uh, you know, you're, you're weak, and, and your uh, your species is, is not powerful, and, and you can't possibly defeat me, you know. And, and it's like I said, that that's pretty much the theme throughout the entire chapter, which is which is really just a, a, a battle between them, you know. Luffy goes in, uh, and and it's actually pretty cool because they go and they they show some of the other, you know, some of the other crewmates and kind of what they're doing, what they're talking about, and everything else. But Luffy ultimately goes and he uh, he goes and, and and picks up um you know picks up Zoro's swords. And mind you, he has no idea how to use swords at all, you know. So he goes and he picks it. And again, this is after Arlong berating him about being inferior and everything else. And it's like, does Luffy even know how to use swords? Uh, Sanji mentions that. And Arlong starts coming at him. And, you know, he's like, what, what the hell? And then Luffy starts just going <laughs> and swinging him. And he's like, what are you doing? You're just swinging wildly, right? Well, <laughs> over the course of the next couple of pages, Luffy's swinging wildly. 
uh, busts Arlong with the sword several times, you know, and just, you know what I mean? And it, it's really kind of cool because Arlong, I don't know if it's just that he, he figures he's too strong to take any damage from Luffy or if he just doesn't expect him to actually hit him or what, you know. But uh, but Luffy, you know, winds up hitting him with these swords several times. And then he goes and he winds up kind of flipping, like whipping the swords at him or flipping them out of his hands. And he goes and, uh, you know, Luffy just kind of, it looks like it, almost like he tosses one like a boomerang, you know. And, uh, and as I said, he hit him a few times. And then it's real cool because Luffy just kind of goes and rears back and he's like, and, and Arlo's like, enough of this, you know. And Luffy goes, clench your teeth. And then Luffy just rears back and... Boom! And I mean, he doesn't even hit him with one of the the Gomu Gomu pistol or the bazooka or the rocket or any of those sort of things. I mean, he just just cold cocks him, you know, and just fucking hits him, and then hits him with another, boom, you know. And in the next scene, it's real cool because we go and we see Arlong, you know, and how powerful he was after you know biting into the the stone pillar and it not even scratching his teeth, and he's got this powerful nose that you know swords can't break and everything else. Arlong goes and, and goes to look and smile and kind of puts his teeth together and his fucking teeth just start <laughs> start cracking and falling out and they're like oh my god he busted his teeth you know so you're thinking there might actually be you know there might actually be something to this over here so then there's this other exchange where they stop and and uh, and Arlong's kind of like you know you're weak you're pathetic you're this you're that and then Luffy goes and he says you know what I, I do rely on my friends. I do rely on others because he's like, well, what can you do? You know, and, and uh, Luffy, the, he says, listen, he goes, I may not be able to navigate, you know, find my way anywhere uh, when we're out to sea. I may not be able to cook. I may not be able to uh, be a liar or tell lies. And Usopp's like, hey. <laughs> and he goes, but I rely on the strength of my, of my friends, of my crewmates, you know, and, and that's what's going to rescue me. And ultimately, he's talking about the strength of, and unity of a team as opposed to just one person thinking they're the best. See, Arlong, although he has lieutenants and officers and everything else, he's got people that listen to him and do his bidding, okay? But Arlong ultimately has the my shit doesn't stink mentality, I can just do anything that I want whenever I want, and he doesn't really lean on or rely on, on the help of others. So... Really what Luffy is saying is that, you know what, it's the strength of the team that actually makes us strong, okay? That's what it is. Everybody contributes and has attributes that help to make us this indomitable force, you know, this unbeatable force. And that's at least that's what I took from it. That was the lesson I took from it. And it's pretty funny because <laughs> at some point during the whole exchange when he's talking about this, it goes out... <laughs> It goes outside to where Zoro has kind of been, been flipped in his lane there, bloody and pretty much dying on the ground. And Zoro's just like, if you die, I'll kill you. <laughs> it's just comical, because he even mentioned in the in the last chapter, you know, God, I'm going to kill my kid. If, I'm, if we make it through this, I'm going to kill him, you know, because Luffy grabbed him and flipped him out of the place. So Arlong goes and, uh, and, and you know, says, well, so what can you do, you know, and this and that. And then Luffy goes... And it's a real cool page, you know, and real nice. I might actually draw something like this, but Luffy just kind of goes and he just says, I can beat you. So he's like, you know what, I may not be able to do some of these other things that I mentioned, but I can beat you. So that's, you know, and that's him, his way of telling Arlong, yeah, you think that I'm so bad at this and so bad at that, I'm still better than you. And that's, again, that's what I took from it. So Arlong goes and uh, kind of goes and smiles and all of a sudden, you know, and, and sort of spits out whatever's left of the remnants of his teeth, right? And then all of a sudden, his teeth are growing back. And he's like, yeah, I'm a shark. You know, my teeth can grow back an endless amount of times, right? So he goes and grows them back real quick and then goes and, like, pops them out like they're dentures and then goes and grows them back again and pops them out like they're dentures. So now he's, like, holding two teeth hands, right, on his hands or whatever. And, and then he grows in another pair or whatever, and he's just like, yeah, I know. And then he's like, chomp, chomp, attack. And he kind of comes at Luffy, and he's with these teeth, and he's <laughs> clamping onto him and biting onto him. And, uh, and and Luffy goes and, and he winds up you know getting hit a little bit, but then goes and tries to dodge out of the way. And what he does is he <clears throat> he actually gets kind of cool. He ducks behind one of and pulls up one of Arlong's uh, henchmen, you know that that has been knocked unconscious, and kind of picks him up and uses him as a human shield in front of him. So <laughs> so then the, the the chomp attack there, the tooth attack is like <laughs> he's clamping onto his guy, you know, biting into him. And he's like, oh Lord, oh Lord Arlong, that hurts. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's so funny because even Arlong's like, oh my shipmate, you know. So uh, so that the, the chapter ends shortly after that. There's this one panel where Luffy's just like, oh, hey, I've got an idea. I've got a great idea. Because everybody was kind of wondering what he's doing. I mean, even, uh, you know, uh, Yusaku and Johnny, when he did the sword thing and everything afterwards, they're like, what, what is he all about? Because Luffy says, he goes, I don't even know how to use swords, right? But, I mean, he obviously still did pretty well and held his own against Arlong with it. But, um, you know, all in all, like I said, it was just, it was very fun and uh, very action-packed moving chapter as the last half dozen or so have been. 
And, uh, and I'm really just looking you know, forward to digging into the next volume. So um, this was uh, certainly just kind of a thrill minute. And what I took from it anyway, you know, the lesson in life is that, you know, we're stronger with others, you know, whether that's a family or a loved one or a team that you play on, maybe in a, a sport or a, or a club or something like that, is that you're stronger with the help of others. You know, I mean, sometimes you can do things on your own, sure, but I think a lot of times what they're trying to say is, is that, um, you know, you, there's there's strength in numbers, and not so much just you know throwing numbers at people like some like some people do, but you know having uh, a group of people and everybody has an attribute and something to contribute to make that group stronger. So that that's kind of what I took from it, and uh, it seems like Luffy's acknowledging that. Like, hey, listen, I may have my shortcomings, but ultimately, number one, I'm better than you, and I can beat you. And number two, I rely on these people that I've surrounded myself with you know, to make me stronger, to make me look better, to make, you know, us be able to get to our goal quicker, you know, so and more efficiently. So let me know what you think, brothers and sisters, in the comments down below. Um, certainly feel free to hit the thumbs up, the like button, uh, if you feel I deserve it. And, um, you know, subscribe if you haven't done so already. We will look forward to catching you in the next one, Nation. As always, thanks for watching, brothers and sisters. And remember, join the Nerd Nation. It's the right thing to do. Trust me, trust me, tell him Jim sent you. What the hell is this nerd nation everyone keeps talking about?